Tara Reid began her career as an actress at the young age of six and was a mega Hollywood star following her main roles in the first two American Pie movies back in the late 90s and early 2000s. In that same era, she starred in other hit films like Josie and the Pussycats, My Boss's Daughter, and more, all within a few short years. Tara was also a hit with the tabloids and paparazzi, which she would later reveal negatively affected her career. While the actress fell off the map for a while, it seems most recently Tara is taking over TikTok. The 46-year-old has gone viral on the app for her singing and dancing videos, also collaborating with her best friend John Grimes from the Irish singing duo Jedward. While Tara Reid got introduced to the entertainment industry early on and found success in the movie biz, she's had her fair share of struggles and even now, some fans worry about her well-being. But stay tuned, because we'll get into all of that, including Tara's early years, her rise and fall from fame, and much more here for you on Famous Life. Tara Donna Reed was born on November 8, 1975 in Wyckoff, New Jersey, where she was also raised. Her parents were Mother Donna Reed and Father Thomas Reed, both of who were teachers and owners of daycare centers, while her father also worked on Wall Street. She also has younger siblings who are twins, Colleen and Patrick, as well as another brother named Tom. Tara attended professional children's school in Manhattan when she was a youngster alongside other now famous actors, including Christina Ricci, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Melissa Joan Hart, Macaulay Culkin, Jerry O'Connell, and more. Tara began her acting career at the young age of six, becoming a regular on the game show Child's Play, as well as appeared on over a hundred commercials for brands such as Jell-O, McDonald's, Milton Bradley, Crayola, and more. When she was a teen, Tara broke out of the commercial industry and appeared on TV on Save by the Bell, The New Class. While Tara might be known for her roles in the big screen, one of her first big breaks was when she starred as Ashley on the popular daytime soap opera Days of Our Lives in 1995. Before her major role in American Pie, Tara appeared in a handful of films and her debut was in the 1987 movie A Return to Salem's Lot, which was a follow-up to the 1979 miniseries based on Stephen King's vampire novel. After Tara moved to Hollywood around 1997, she landed a breakout role in the 1998 film The Big Lebowski as Bunny, the beautiful and young wife of Jeffrey Big Lebowski. The actress revealed later in 2018 that she was surprised when she won the role after seeing other stars like Charlize Theron and Liv Tyler waiting to audition. While the movie wasn't a success at the box office, it went on to become a major hit and cult classic and ultimately helped Tara become a real star. She explained, This is definitely the breakout role that opened up all the areas for me. Without this, I don't think I would have ever had the success that I got on such a big level. That same year, Tara appeared in the movie Girl as well as the slasher film urban legend which was financially successful, where Tara played a sexy radio host. In 1999, she scored a small role in another hit film, Cruel Intentions. But Tara would finally become a household name in 1999 when she starred in the hit teen movie American Pie, alongside actors like Mina Suvari, Sean William Scott, Allison Hannigan, Jason Biggs, and many more. The movie followed a group of seniors including Tara's character, the virgin, Vicky, and the romantic struggles during the weeks before graduating high school. Her starring role on the ensemble cast brought Tara much more mainstream attention and opportunities. Not to mention, American Pie was made on a budget of $11 million, but brought in over $235 million at the box office. The movie also marked Tara's first film to reach number one at the box office. In 2001, she returned for the role in American Pie 2, which was even more successful. And while Reed didn't return for American Wedding in 2003, she did reprise the character in the fourth film of the series, American Reunion, in 2012. After the success of American Pie 2, Tara was in some other films, like Josie and the Pussycats and Van Wilder, as well as Dr. T and the Women. In fact, Tara revealed in the past that drummer Melody in Josie and the Pussycats was her most favorite role saying, that has always been my favorite movie I've ever done. It was great waking up every day playing a happy girl. From 2003 to 2005, Tara had a recurring role in the sitcom Scrubs, where she played JD, Zach Braff's love interest, and shortly after, she starred with Ashton Kutcher in the movie My Boss's Daughter. Then, Reed signed on to host the E's Wild on Tara Reed, which was later named Tara Dice, a show that highlighted posh vacations and hotspots, and it premiered in August 2005. However, it was cancelled in September with E's network's president saying it was incredibly difficult to produce with someone well known. In Tara's personal life, she had her share of struggles, including her eating disorder that came to the surface after her upsetting breakup with MTV DJ Carson Daly after they were engaged. 
The worst of this coincided with when she filmed American Pie 2 in 2001, which is why Tara seemed to look gaunt in many scenes, especially the reshoots, as well as at the premiere. For the actress, she really felt that she was at the height of her fame during the American Pie movies. She reflected on this later, explaining, In my American Pie days, everyone was kissing my butt. I didn't realize how good I had it. But the second things go down, no one cares. I've become more humble. By leading her life in the spotlight, Tara learned how to deal with people criticizing her performance as well as her looks. Unfortunately, she underwent what seemed to be a botched breast augmentation and stomach liposuction procedure in 2004, which led to a lot of bullying. Not to mention, people would also constantly comment about her thin physique in the tabloids, online, you name it. In 2006, Tara explained to Us Weekly about her surgery and how it went wrong, saying she decided to get the work done in the first place because her breasts were reportedly uneven and she wanted a six-pack for a new movie role. Between 2007 and 2008, Tara starred in a handful of direct-to-video movies, including 710 Split Strike, If I Had Known I Was a Genius, and Clean Break, A Natural Causes. She also played the main character in the made-for-TV horror film Vipers. In 2010, she landed the role of Bonnie in the thriller movie The Fields, which was released in 2011. Then in 2013, Tara appeared in the hit sci-fi film Sharknado, which would go on to spawn five sequels up until 2018. When this movie came out, few people probably thought it would go on to make five more movies and spawn a cult following, but it did. Its concept was very original. A hurricane pulls sharks from the sea and drops them in LA, where they wreak bloody havoc. And while fans might have been surprised to see Tara in a sci-fi disaster movie, she was the perfect addition to the cast. Playing April Wexler, ex-wife of the hero Finn, played by Ian Zierig. The film's wild premise and over-the-top action helped it become a hit with viewers. A sequel, Sharknado 2, the second one, hit screens the following year, hot on the heels of the original, and Tara returned to this one as well. A handful of unexpected celebs made cameos in this one too, including Billy Ray Cyrus and Perez Hilton. The movie was another success, and a third Sharknado was put into production, which would come out in 2015, and the fourth and fifth installments followed. Tara played April in all of them. Even though Tara's life and career have included some major highs and lows, she explained that Sharknado provided a sort of comeback for her and helped her expand her horizons, proving she wasn't going to simply fade away. She said in 2014, I think people are saying this girl has lasting power. She's been in this business since she was six years old. I've done over 45 movies. Regardless if they're A movies, B movies, C movies, D movies, I always stay working. I love what I do. Tara has continued to secure roles, having recently appeared in The Boys, the horror movie The Art of the Dead, and Mummy Dearest. On top of that, she's got multiple projects in the works at the moment, many of which she's billed as an executive producer or producer on them, giving her the opportunity to regain some control over her career. Despite the online bullying or negative reports over the years in the tabloids, including the damage they likely did to her career, Tara has been working consistently, and her IMDb page, there is barely a year that's gone by without appearing in one project or another. Reed says she has never considered walking away from the industry altogether. No, I mean, there's an old saying, once you're in Hollywood, you never get out of it. Reed says that she has never considered walking away from the industry altogether. And she said, no, I mean, there's an old saying, once you're in Hollywood, you never get the taste out of you. I've taken a break before and stepped out of it, but once it's in your blood, it's always in your blood. You can't help it. And no matter what, it's my true love. I love acting. Also recently, you may have noticed Tara has been taking over TikTok. The actress, now 46, has gone viral on the app for her sing-along collabs with John Grimes, one of her best friends, from the Irish singing duo Jedward. Tara shared one of their latest musical efforts with the pair standing in a parking garage while wearing fancy nighttime attire, as they sang Toxic by Britney Spears. While some fans were first shocked at Tara's TikTok and wondering if she's healthy or not from some of her first videos on the app, it seems she's enjoying making fun content and by the looks of it, her videos are are garnering plenty of attention. Recent and upcoming projects for Tara Reid also include the comedy spoof The Hungover Games, horror movie Charlie's Farm, Bollywood film Tie the Knot, and TV series The Big Big Show with Tom Green and Andrew Dice Clay. In terms of what else is next for Tara, we'll just have to wait and see for some of her other projects she's been working on the last couple of years. And until then, keep an eye out on her TikTok where she seems to be very active. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.